Gerard Morin, Hyperdrive Controller Circuit Design Feasibility Study Presented by Man Tim Lee, May 2018 My name is Man Tim Lee. I am 66 years old, living in Singapore. I am a retired engineer experienced in electromechanical repair and maintenance of steam sterilization equipment in hospitals. I wish to share with the knowledge seekers that I did a feasibility study on the design of a hyperdrive controller circuit for the Gerard Maureen standby generator to add on the knowledge to extend my understanding of how to spin the drum motor at high voltage and at high speed. The Gerard Morin hyperdrive consists of a DC three-phase drum motor, a Tesla original generator without magnets, built in the motor frame as a standby generator. It was in development progress that motor controllers were being tested by Gerard Morin. The motor controller was called a hyperdrive due to its use of high voltage, 310 volt DC, a voltage higher than 240 volt DC voltage. Source, a peak at the hyperdrive standby generator. The drum motor is a 36 pole permanent magnet three phase DC operated motor. Technical specifications 310 volt DC, 0 0.92 horsepower, 2.5 ampere, 1400 RPM. To hyperdrive the drum motor, my objective is to bring the voltage all the way high to our familiar voltage range as used in the pole transformer, 14,400 volt DC. As seen in the technical specifications, the drum motor, 310 volt DC, 2.5 volt ampere, are the limits. In order to stay within these specifications, I shall need to limit the current into the motor's stator coils. 310 volt times 2.5 ampere divided by 14,400 volt equal to 0 0.05382 ampere. That is, I shifted the technical specifications to 14,400 volt DC at 0 0.0 5382 ampere. Limit the stator current. As seen in the drum motor specifications, 310 volt DC, 2.5 ampere. This means that the drum motor can take in 310 volt line voltage between each phase. As indicated in the source video, there is one common and then one, two, three terminations. The stator coils are in star connection. This means the maximum voltage it can be applied to the stator coils. It is the line voltage at 14,400 volt DC at 0 0.05382 ampere. That is, any two phase coils in series connection shall have to take 14,400 volt DC, and the line current is to be limited to 0 0.0532 ampere. One ampere is equal to one column per second. The basic time is one second. For this drum motor, 
one second is equal to 2.5 ampere at 310 volt due to its stator winding copper content that is 0 0.05382 ampere divided by 2.5 ampere per second equal to 0 0.021328 second at 14,400 volt DC. A high frequency generator. In another video, Gerard Morin demonstrated a high frequency generator. He achieved generating 276 volt AC. It was a two pole permanent magnet, two coils each at N equal to 1000 turns and very thin wiring, wire size 28AWG, rating at 0.3 ampere. I shall now proceed with my feasibility study based on known experimental data. To incorporate such a generator built into the subject hyperdrive instead of the mentioned Tesla generator in the Gerard video. Source Gerard Morin demonstration a high frequency generator that is iron free with massive voltage output. Wire size and current on YouTube. I found a chart relating to wire size and current. I read from it, 28AWG equal to 0.3 ampere, diameter equal to 0.32 mm. The diameter of the generator winding wire is related to the current capacity of the wire. The bigger diameter of the wire, it has more copper in the generator to give more current. Bigger diameter of wire makes more difficult to flex it to do the winding. It requires more winding space. The generator has to be bigger. Source YouTube calculation and homemade construction of a toroidal transformer by Ampelitos. Built-in generator. For now, I take the assumption that the Gerard Morin high frequency generators, two stator coils can be installed into the hyperdrive's motor frame and the permanent magnets can be installed to the drum motor shaft so that it can be a standby generator. Generator specifications N equal to 1000 turns, two poles, AWG28, 276 volt AC, 60 hertz, 0 0.3 ampere. EMF and speed. On the internet, YouTube, I found a formula relating EMF, electromotive force and speed. E equal to NBA omega sine omega t. This means I need to spin the drum motor at a speed as required by the generator. Omega is in radians per second. For a generator to produce 60 Hz, 2 pi f equal to omega. Then omega equal to 2 pi 60 equal to 120 pi radian per second. One revolution is 2 pi radians. One minute is 60 seconds. So omega equal to 120 pi divided by 2 pi times 60 equal to 3600 RPM. I need to spin the
the drum motor at 3600 RPM instead of the drum motor specifications 1400 RPM. Spin the drum motor with IGBT inverter circuit. Nowadays, I can use IGBT, insulated gate bipolar transistors, to make an inverter circuit for electronic switching on a direct current DC supply to spin the drum motor. The smallest IGBT current rating I can find is 6 ampere at 25 degrees centigrade or 3 ampere at 100 degrees centigrade. Collector to emitter voltage VCES equal to 600 volt. D version is with internal counter biased dial, better CE protection. Gate threshold voltage VGETH equal to 3 volt to 5 volt. Packaging TO 220 FP for discrete component circuits. Order type STGF 3N BFD. Manufacturer ST Microelectronics. www.st.com. Since I'm working on 14,400 volt, I shall need to put IGBTs in series to withstand the voltage. Quantity 15,600 volt divided by 600 volt equal to 26 pieces. One row termination or 78 pieces for three phase. Note, 24 pieces times 600 volt equal to 14,400 volt. Using 15,600 volt is more margin voltage to avoid electronics overheat. Power inverter circuit. This is the circuit to power the drum motor stator coils as indicated in RYB. Inverter is a name given in the power electronics industry as a device that converts direct current DC into alternating current AC. In order for the stator coils to accept the highest voltage, I need to turn on two series coils at a time, the third coil to be off. Therefore, step one, RY on, terminals one and four equal to on, terminals five and six equal to off. Step two, YB on, terminals three and six equal to on, Terminals 1 and 2 equal to off. Step 3. BR on. Terminals 5 and 2 equal to on. Terminals 3 and 4 equal to off. When RY is on, current flows into R and leaves at Y. The voltage across the BY coils shall be VRY equal to R VR minus VY equal to 14,400 volt. When YB is on, current flows into Y and leaves at B. Likewise, VYB equal to VY minus VB equal to 14,400 volt. This is when the Y coil experience a reverse current direction. A simulated AC is realized. When the coils complete a cycle of steps 
1, 2, and 3, a rotating magnetic field in sequence R, Y, B on the drum motor stator is realized. This shall spin the drum motor. Step 1. Terminals 1 and 4 equal to on. It means I can solder the terminals together to make one input. These terminals are the gate control for the IGBTs. Likewise, I can solder the terminals 3 and 6 together, then 5 and 2 together to make simultaneous input excitation for the drum motor stator coils. When the soldering is done, I reduce the gate control inputs into three numbers. In one input, it controls 26 IGBTs simultaneously in parallel. After joining the terminals, I have GRY, GYR, GBR as the gate control inputs. As per IGBT characteristics, VG threshold equal to 3 to 5 volts. That is, below 3 volt is off. Up to 5 volt is on. Remember the drum motor specifications. 310 volt, 2.5 ampere. This means its internal stata coils resistance Rs equal to R R plus R Y equal to 310 volt divided by 2.5 ampere equal to 124 ohms. If I apply 14,400 volts across the current into stata coils Is equal to 14,400 volt divided by 124 ohms equal to 116.1290 ampere. This high current would burn out the drum motor. Therefore, I have to limit the gate control to short time on. Limit stator current and synchronize speed with generator. As calculated in previous slides, limit the stator current. For the drum motor, 1 second equal to 2.5 ampere. 0 0.05382 ampere divided by 2.5 ampere per second equal to 0 0.021528 seconds. It would equivalent to 0 0.05382 ampere. This gate control timing is called modulation time, Tm equal to 0 0.0 21528 seconds. Or if I read in terms of frequency, Fm equal to 1 over Tm equal to 1 over 0 0.021528 per second equal to 46.4511 hertz. In other words, I need to turn on the gate 46 times in one second to limit the drum motor stator current. As calculated in previous slides, EMF and speed. Omega equal to 120 pi divided by 2 pi times 60 equal to 3600 RPM. I need to spin the drum motor at 3600 RPM for the generator to produce 60 Hz AC. This means I need to complete one cycle of the gate control, step 
one, step two, step three. Within this RYB, 60 hertz shift. This timing is called carrier period, TCG, equal to 1 over 60 hertz, equal to 0 0.01667 second, or FCG equal to 60 hertz. Gauge control timing. As calculated in previous slide, limit stator current synchronize generator speed tm equal to 0 0.021528 seconds i can only turn on the gates gry gyb and gbr each one at a time hence three of these pulses will take tcd equal to three times tm equal to three times 0 0.021528 second equal to 0 0.06458 second tcd is drum motor carrier period as calculated in previous slide this term in Timing is called 60 hertz carrier period. TCG equal to 1 over 60 hertz, equal to 0 0.01667 seconds. TCG generator carrier period. TCD is greater than TCG. This means I cannot finish the RYB cycle within the time. TCG equal to 0 0.01667 second. Hence, I need to shorten TM so that TCD can fit into TCG. Set 3 times TM equal to TCD equal to TCG equal to 0 0.01667 second. Tm equal to Tcg divided by 3 equal to 0 0.01667 divided by 3 equal to 0 0.00555 second. Round off Tm equal to 0 0.0055 second. Then I set 3 times Tm plus Trs equal to 0 0.0. 1667 second. TRS equal to 0 0.01667 minus 3 times 0 0.0055 equal to 0 0.01667 minus 0 0.0165 equal to 0 0.00017 second. TRS equal to reset time it is to clean up the decimal points trs divided by tcg equal to 0 0.00017 divided by 0 0.01667 equal to 0 0.01 or 1 percent i have 99 percent stator coils excitation it is good to go. Shortening TM to 0 0.0055 second instead of 0 0.021528 second. It means the drum motor torque output power will be decreased. 0 0.0055 divided by 0 0.021528 equal to 0 0.255 or 25.5% of pool power. Due to drum motor stator, effective current decreased. Shorter TM time on is less current flow. The loss in TRS 1% is also lost in speed, equal to 3600 times 0 0.01, equal to 36 RPM. 
Nowadays, I can use an unstable multi vibrator circuit to generate the IGBT's gate control drive voltage and timing. On the internet, I found this LM555 timer integrated circuit, manufacturer Texas Instruments. From the LM555 datasheet, a stable multi vibrator circuit. Design parameter equations are charging time T1 equal to 0 0.693 times RA plus RB times C, equation 1. Discharging time T2 equal to 0 0.693 RB times C, equation 2. Total period T1 plus T2 equal to 0 0.693 times R1 plus 2RB times C, equation 3. Solving these simultaneous equations 1, 2, and 3, I shall have the values of RA, RB, and C. A point power on charging T1, the output is 5 volt. Discharging T2 is 0 volt. Now, I can set T1 equal to Tm equal to 0 0.0055 second. Also, T2 equal to 2 times Tm equal to 0 0.011 second. From the free running frequency chart, my duty cycle being 60 Hz, RA plus 2 RB is to be 100 mega ohm along the red line. The manufacturer's design equations, charging time 0 0.0055 equal to 0 0.693 times R1 plus RB times C, equation 1. Discharging time 0 0.011 equal to 0 0.693 times RB times C, equation 2. Total period 0 0.0165 equal to 0 0.693 times RA plus 2 RB times C, equation 3. I follow the manufacturer's Design example, setting RA plus 2RB equal to 100 mega ohm, and substitute into 3, I have 0 0.0165 equal to 0 0.693 times 100M, C equal to 0 0.0238 times 10 to the minus 6, equal to 0 0.0238 microfarad. Output of this square wave on the LM555 is at pin 3. Source, LM555 timer datasheet is www.alldatasheet.com. C equal to 0 0.0238 microfarad. Round off, C equal to 0 0.02 mu F. Since I want the discharging time T2 to be longer than T1, charging time RB greater than RA, and the ratio to be T2 divided by T1 equal to 0 0.011 divided by 0 0.0055 equal to 2. Therefore, I set RB equal to 2RA. Then, RA plus RB equal to RA plus 2RA equal to 100 mag ohm. RA equal to 100 divided by 3 equal to 33 mag ohm. RB equal to 2 times RA equal to 67 mag ohm. 
a point power on during charging time, T1 output is 5 volt. After T1, the capacitor will discharge through RB. Discharging time, T2. Output is 0 volt DC. This design shall give me the square wave form of RGRY in digital format GRY equal to 100100. One high and then followed by two lows. The output of this square wave on the LM555 is at pin 3. Source LM555 timer data sheet www.alldatasheet.com Another timer for gate drive. My next problem is how to generate the waveforms of GYB and GBR. In digital format, I have GRY equal to 100, 100. GYB equal to 010, 010. GBR equal to 001, 001. After some manipulation on how to generate GYB and GBR, I found that I need another unstable multivibrator circuit to cover the time shift, time delays in GYB and GBR. I shall name it as B for further logical operations with A equal to GRY. Then A equal to 100, 100 equal to GYB. B equal to 110, 110 is the second timer. A bar equal to 011, 011. B bar equal to 001, 001 equal to GBR. A bar B bar equal to 001, 001. I do not choose A bar B bar because of two inverters and operation. A bar B equal to 010, 010 equal to GYB. Thus using another timer B and an inverter to B, I created GBR. Taking the invert A and and gate to B created GYB. Second timer for gate driver. Again, I can use LM555 timer as a stable multivibrator circuit to generate the waveform B for IGBT gate control drive voltage and timing. LM555 timer integrated circuit, manufacturer Texas Instruments. From the LM555 datasheet, a stable multivibrator circuit, design parameter equations are charging time T1 equal to 0 0.963 times RA plus RB times C, equation 1. Discharging time T2 equal to 0 0.693 times RB times C, equation 2. Total period T1 plus T2 equal to 0 0.693 times RA plus 2 RB times C, equation 3. Solving these simultaneous equations 1, 2, 3, I shall have the values of RA, RB, and C. Now I can set charging time T1 equal to 2Tm equal to 0.011 second. Also T2 equal to Tm equal to 0.0055 second. 
from the free running frequency chart, my duty cycle being 60 Hz, RA plus 2RB is to be 100 mega ohm along the red line. Manufacturer's design equations, charging time 0.011 equal to 0.693 times RA plus RB times C, equation 1. Discharging time 0.0055 equal to 0.693 RB times C, equation 2. Total period 0.0165 equal to 0.693 times RA plus 2RB times C, equation 3. I follow the manufacturer's design example, setting RA plus 2RB equal to 100 mega ohm, and substitute into 3, I have 0.0165 equal to 0.693 times 100 mega times C. Imply that C equal to 0.0238 times 10 to the minus 6 equal to 0.0238 microfarad. Round off C equal to 0.02 mu f. Output of this square wave on the LM555 is at pin 3. Source LM555 timer data sheet www.alldatasheet.com Second timer for gauge driver C equal to 0.0238 mu f Run off C equal to 0.02 mu f. Since I want the discharging time T2 to be shorter than T1 charging time, Ra is greater than Rb, and their ratio to be T2 divided by T1 equal to 0.0055 divided by 0.011 equal to 1 half. Therefore, I set 2RB equal to RA. Then RA plus RB equal to 2RB plus RB equal to 100 mega ohm. RB equal to 100 divided by 3 equal to 33 mega ohm. RA equal to 2 times RB equal to 67 mega ohm. The values of RA and RB are interchanged compared to GYR. Charging time T1, output is 5 volt. Discharging time T2, output is 0 volt. This design shall give me the square waveform B in digital format B equal to 110110, two highs and one low. The output of this square wave on the LM555 is at pin 3. Source LM555 Timer Datasheet www.alldatasheet.com Case Driver Circuit Now that I have timers A equal GRY B equal 110110 I can form the gauge driver circuit. Each gauge output is interlocked with G enable and F enable. That is, GRY and G enable and F enable equal GRY. GRY bar and B equal GYB. GYB and G enable and F enable equal GYB. B bar G enable F enable equal GBR. These are the gauge excitation voltages. 
as well as feedback to input the gauge driver interlock circuit to complete the drum motor controller circuit design. The electronic components, gauge driver circuit, timer two pieces, LM555, timer package, PD1P8, VCC 5 volt, manufacturer Texas instrument, resistors two pieces, 33 mega ohm non-specific, resistor two pieces, 67 mega ohm non-specific, capacitor two pieces, 0.02 mu f ceramic non-specific inverter two pieces nc7s is at 04 m5x single inverter uhs tiny logic 5 lead sot 23 jedec MO-178 Manufacturer Fairchild Semiconductors Continue And gate one piece SN74 LVC 1G08 Single two input positive and gate Package SOT5 VCC 5 volt Manufacturer Texas Instruments and gate one piece SN seventy four LB CX eleven SJ triple three input and gate fourteen leads small outline package EIAT type two five point three MM manufacturer Texas Instruments Continue. Voltage regulator, one piece. LM3940, voltage regulator, one ampere, five volt to 3.3 volt DC. Manufacturer, national semiconductors. End of component list. Case driver interlock. Looking back into the IGBT, Gate control timing chart. I notice these conditions. Step one, GRY equal on, GYB and GBR equal off. Step two, GYB equal on, GRY and GBR equal off. Step three, GBR equal on, GRY and GYB equal off. At any given time, there is only one set of gate voltage equal to on. All other times, including TRS reset time, gate voltage equal to off. This is a logic control situation. I can express it in Boolean algebra format as in N gates. Step 1. GRY and GYB bar, GBR bar equal to VGRY. Step two, GRY bar, GYB, GBR bar equal VGYB. Step three, GRY bar, GYB bar, GBR equal VG by BR. Case driver enable. GRY, GYB bar, GBR bar, or GRY bar, GYB, GBR bar, or GRY bar, GYB bar, GBR equal G enable.
gauge driver error GRY bar GYB bar GBR bar equal G error when either one of the gates is on the gate control continues G enable short for gate enable when neither gate is on G error equal to gate error gate driver interlock repeat step 1 GRY GYB bar GBR bar equal VGRY step 2 GRY bar GYB GBR bar equal VGYB step 3 GRY bar GYB bar GBR equal VGBR Pure and gate as is problem that from power on the gates are at zero volt GRY GYB bar GBR bar equal 0 1 1 equal 0 VGRY equal to 0 will not allow GRY to go through locking into off position the drum motor shall not spin this problem is resolved by logical reduction with K map in the next slide source digital design 3 truth table into K map into boolean expressions by engineer tutor case driver interlock I need to modify these expressions to allow the exception that 000 will give a 1 as I wish them to be step 1 GRY GYB bar GBR bar equal VGRY step 2 GRY bar GYB GBR bar equal VGYB step 3 GRY bar GYB bar GBR equal VGBR here first I look at step 1 the truth table of VGRY is indicating 000, 0, 0 equal to 1 or 111 equal 1 the rest are zeros GRY only has two possibilities zeros or ones whereas GYB bar GBR bar are in an engaged situation the VGRY truth values are inserted into the K map for logic reduction clearly when GRY GYB bar GBR bar equal 000, VGRY equal to 1 is a NAND gate whereas GRY GYB bar GBR bar equal to 111 VGRY equal 1 is an AND gate either case VGRY is to be allowed to go through it is a OR gate so in boolean algebra it is GRY bar GYB GBR or GRY GYB bar GBR bar equal VGRY note NAND gate the invert of GRY GYB bar GBR bar is GRY bar GYB GBR 
The logic circuit of VGRY is realized as shown in this slide on the top right drawing. Similarly, looking into step 2, GRY bar, GYB, GBR bar equal to VGYB. The logic circuit is realized as GRY, GYB bar, GBR or GRY bar, GYB, GBR bar equal VGYB. Step 3. R GRY bar, GYB bar, GBR equal to VGBR. The logic circuit is realized as GRY, GYB, GBR bar or GRY bar, GYB bar, GBR equal to VGBR. Step 2 and Step 3 are obtained by comparison with VGRY and follow the same logic pattern. GRY, GYB, GBR are common wires on each logic circuit to be wired together accordingly in the next slide. Gauge driver interlock VGRY or VGYB or VGBR equal G enable. In either one gate has voltage, enable the gate drive. Gate drive error GRY bar, GYB bar, GBR bar equal to G error. When power on, any one gate has no voltage is gate error. LED light on. RK equal to 470 ohm. ID equal to 5 volt divided by 470 ohm equal to 0 0.01 ampere equal to 10 milliamp to light up LED. This gate driver interlock logic circuit is synthesized by deleting the duplicated logic inverters and join the common wires GRY, GYB, GBRs together into one circuit. Drum motor feedback DMFB The gate control driver circuit it needs to know whether there is voltage supply to the drum motor data coils. If not, it may be an indication of IGBT's failure or power failure error, a repair maintenance required. Therefore, I introduced a voltage divider to tap a 5 volt from each of the drum motor data coil. If there is not 5 volt, the coils are off. Setting VR equal to 14,400 volt, I want the current consumption in the circuit to be as small as 0.96 nano ampere and 13.8 microwatt consumption. Then R1 equal to 14,400 minus 5 volts divided by 0 0.96 times 10 to the power minus 9 ampere equal to 14395 divided by 0 0.96 times 10 to the power 9 ohm equal to 15 giga ohm. Keeping the same voltage proportion, I have R2 divided by 15 times 10 to the power 12 equal to 5 divided by 1439 imply that R2 equal to 5 times 
15 times 10 to the power 12 divided by 14.395 equal to 5200 mega ohm. On the internet, I found high voltage divider that can take 18,000 volt 20 giga amp ohms to be on request order. Quantity 3 pieces. Type 300.4. Resistance range 1 gig to 20 gig. Manufacturer Nichrome Electronic. www.nichromelectronic.com As calculated in previous slides, power inverter circuit. The drum motor stator coil resistance, Rs equal to RR plus RY equal to 310 volt divided by 2.5 ampere equal to 124 ohm. And in slides, limit stator current and synchronize speed with generator. The stator coils would experience effective current 0 0.021528 second equal to 0 0.053828 ampere. Therefore, stator coil excitation, gate control timing, Tm equal to 0 0.0055 second. The effective current in stator coil would be proportional. Is equal to 0 0.053828 times 0 0.0055 divided by 0 0.021528 equal to 0 0.01375 ampere. When the phase changes, Vr becomes the receiving end of the 14,400 volt. It would have a voltage drop IIS times RS equal to 0 0.01375 times 124 equal to 1.705 volt. VR would become 14,400 minus 1.705 equal to 14,398. 0.295 volt. The 5 volt at R2 would be Vr times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. 14,398.285 times 5200 divided by 15 gig 5200 equal to 4.9914 volt. This is about 3 volt, still recorded as 1 in logic circuits. Good to go. With the voltage dividers in place, I have this circuit. The voltage feedbacks are VR, VY, VB. The logical Boolean conditions are Scenario 1. GRY, VR, VY, VB bar equal to feedback enable. Scenario 2, GYB, VR bar, VY, VB equal to feedback enable. Scenario 3, GBR, VR, VY bar VB equal feedback enable. In scenario 1, GRY equal on, VR and VY are on. Coil B is open circuit, VB equal off. Conditions met, then the process can carry on as feedback enable, FENA. Scenarios combined 
J R Y V R V Y V B bar or G Y B V R inverted V Y V B or G B R V R V Y bar V B equal feedback enable. Generally, ground is the chassis ground, the printed circuit's common ground. VEE -E could be many volts higher than ground. It is better to separate VEE -E from ground, unless VR, VY, VB cannot be read as 5 volt. Electronic components, inverter. On the internet websites, I found this applicable for the inverter circuit. IGBT, 78 pieces. STGF, 3N, B60, FD. IGBT, power mesh, 3 ampere, 600 volt, N channel, packaging, TO, 220, FP. Discrete component. Manufacturer ST Microelectronics. www.st.com. Supplier www.alldatasheet.com. Voltage divider. Three pieces. Type 300.4. High voltage divider. R1 equal to 12 giga ohm. R2 equal to 5200 mega ohm. 18,000 volt 20 giga ohm series. Low temperature coefficient. Manufacturer Nikron Electronic. www. Nikronelectronic.com End of list Drum motor control logic Combining the gauge drivers interlock together I have these boolean equations Gauge driver interlock Step 1 GRY bar GYB GBR or GRY GYB bar, GBR bar equal VGRY. Step 2. GRY, GYB bar, GBR or GRY bar, GYB, GBR bar equal VGYB. Step 3. GRY, GYB, GBR bar, or GRY bar, GYB bar, GBR, equal VGBR. When only one gate is on, give the gate a modulation time, TM. The duplicated logic inverters were deleted in the combined gate driver interlock circuit. VGRY or VGYB or VGBR equal G enable. In either one gate has voltage, enable the gate drive. Gate driver error. GRY bar, GYB bar, GBR bar equal G error. When power on, any one gate has no voltage is gate error. LED light on, RK equal to 47, 470 ohm. ID equal to 5 volt divided for 470 ohm equal to 0 0.01 ampere equal to 10 milliampere 
to light up LED. Drum motor control logic. Combining the feedback interlock, I have these Boolean equations from slide drum motor feedback. Feedback enable GRY, VR, VY, VB bar or GYB, VR bar, VY, VB or GBR, VR, VY bar, VB equal feedback enable. Feedback error VR bar, VY bar, VB bar equal feedback error. RK equal 470 ohm. ID equal to 5 volt divided by 470 ohm equal 0 0.01 ampere equal to 10 milliamp to light up LED. ID is the current flow in LED light. Drum motor logic unit, DMLU. Since the case drivers interlock and feedback interlock are logic circuits in one family, I put the circuits together into one circuit board and call it drum motor logic unit, DMLU. The common terminals are to be soldered together or joined into circuit board layout. GRY joined to GRY, GYB joined to GYB, and GBR joined to GBR. Note, RK equal to 470 ohm. ID equal to 5 volt divided by 470 ohm equal to 0 0.01 ampere equal to 10 milliampere to light up LED. ID is the current in LED light. Electronic components, DMLU. On the internet websites, I found these integrated circuits applicable. Inverters, one piece. MM74HCT, 04N, N14A. Hex inverter, 14 lead, plastic duo in line. Package PDIP. JEDEC MOS 001 Manufacturer Fairchild Semiconductors Supplier On Semiconductor www.onsemi.com And case 4 pieces 74 LCX 11SJ triple three input and gate with five volt tolerant inputs. 14 lead small outline package. SOP EI80 type two, 5.3 mm wide. Manufacturer Fairchild Semiconductor. Supplier on semiconductor. Continue and case three pieces SN seventy four LVC one G zero eight single two input positive and gate five lead package SOT twenty three bracket five manufacturer Texas instruments supplier www dot all data sheet dot com or gates one piece TC seventy four LCX thirty two FT quad two input or gate with three point six volt tolerant input and output fourteen leads small outline package TTSOP P 0044 
0.0.65 Manufacturer Toshiba Corporation Supplier www.alldatasheet.com Continue for case two pieces NLX 1G332 Single three input or gates with five volt tolerance inputs. 14 lead plastic duo in line package PDIP JEDEC MOS 001 Manufacturer on semiconductor. Supplier on semiconductor www.onsemi.com LED two pieces red color non specific resistors two pieces 470 ohms non specific voltage regulator one piece LM3940 Voltage regulator, 1 ampere, 5 volt to 3.3 volt DC. Manufacturer, National Semiconductors. Supplier, www.alldatasheet.com. End of list. Logic circuits realization. Up to this slide, the hyperdrive controller circuit design is complete. The next level of work is to synthesize, build the circuits into circuit boards and do function testing. As seen in the three input and gate, integrated circuit package, the gates are already laid out as according to and gate logic symbol. Likewise, or gate inverter layout in logic symbols. It is translatable from logic symbols into circuit boards. As I look into data sheets, nowadays integrated circuit packages are into service mounted SOP versus dual inline package, DIP for discrete component circuit synthesis. In manufacturing, the circuits are to be built into printed circuit boards, then use LED lights circuit simulator, test all the interlocked functions correct before putting it to high voltage. Without further ado, I proceed with this presentation. So, the hyperdrive controller circuit consists of DMLU, gate driver, power inverter, hyperdrive controller circuit. Finally, the whole circuit is to be realized in block diagram format as these. This hyperdrive controller circuit is a direct online DOL motor starting. It has no speed control for rotation drive to the built-in electric generator to run at 3600 RPM. The calculated drum motor power consumption is 198 watt or 0.265 horsepower at 14,400 volt DC versus its rated 0.92 horsepower at 310 volt DC. High voltage power supply. To supply 14,400 volt DC, there are 12 volt batteries in the market. Yet 14,400 volt shall require 14,400 divided by 12 equal to 120 pieces batteries. The alternative is to 
use high voltage capacitors in series, capacitors bank. On the internet, I found this portable size. Capacitor, 4,000 volt DC, 0 0.5 microfarad. Manufacturer, Chicago Condenser Corporation. Source, www.capacitorindustries.com. Putting four pieces in series, it shall withstand four times 4,000 equal to 16,000 volt. Series combined capacitance, one over C equal to one over C1 plus one over C2 plus one over C3 plus one over C4 equal to four divided by 0 0.5 microfarad. C equal to 0 0.5 divided by 4 equal to 0 0.125 microfarad. Energy storage, half C B square equal to 0 0.5 times 0 0.125 times 10 to the power minus 6 times 14,400 square equal to 12.96 newton meter. Proof of formula, E equal to half CV square. Source, YouTube, Electric Energy Storage in Capacitors by AK Lectures. Charging the capacitors per second, I have 12.96 newton meter per second equal to 12.96 watt. The drum motor's capacity is 0 0.021528 second equal to 0 0.05382 ampere from slide limit stator current. During Tm equal to 0 0.0055 second, the motor takes 0 0.0055 times 0 0.0538 divided by 0 0.021528 equal to 0 0.01375 ampere. The power taken by drum motor equal to 0 0.01375 times 14,400 equal to 198 watt. Therefore, I have to charge the capacitor bank 198 divided by 12.96 equal to 15.28 seconds for the drum motor to operate for one second. This means I can recharge the capacitor banks quickly to keep the drum motor power supply going. To do one step further, I change total C to 30 times larger than capacitor's bank energy storage equal to 32 times 12.96 watt equal to 414.72 watt. Then 198 divided by 414.72 equal to 0 0.4774 seconds for the drum motor to rotate for one second. Total C equal to 0 0.125 microfarad times 32 equal to 4 farad mu, mu F. Then C1 equal to C2 equal to C3 equal to C4 equal to 4 divided by C. C1 is equal to 1 microfarad. Source, Chicago Condenser Corporation. Type CSB 105-4M, 1 mu F, 4000 volt DC. If I can access 14,400 volt AC, I can use high voltage rectifiers to change AC into 14,400 volt DC.
and then charge up the capacitors in one time charging. High voltage rectifiers. On the internet, YouTube, I found a video on how to make high voltage dials with 1N4007 dials in series. Source, YouTube, how to make high voltage dials by Lutic Science. By using 16 pieces, 1N4007 dials, 1000 volt, 1 ampere, and two such sets shall make a rectifier bridge circuit as shown in this slide. It shall withstand 16,000 volt. Combined same with the capacitor bank, it shall make a high voltage power supply, 14,400 volt, 12.96 watt. Component, dial, 32 pieces, 1N4007, dial, 1000 volt, 1 ampere, manufacturer, on semiconductor, supplier, on semiconductor, www.onsemi.com. High voltage transformer. On the Gerard Morin video, it was shown a 6,000 volt step up transformer. Specifications 120 volt to 6,000 volt, 20 milliamp. This means that it may be hyper driven to 14,400 volt as well. The output capacity equal to 6,000 volt times 20 divided by 1,000 ampere equal to 120 VA. The transformer turn ratio N equal to 6,000 volt divided by 20 divided by 1,000 ampere equal to 120 VA. The transformer turn ratio N equal to 6,000 divided by 12 equal to 50. Therefore, if I hyperdrive it to 14,400 volt AC, I need to connect the transformer to input 14,400 divided by 50 equal to 288 volt AC. Now that this subject, Gerard Morin's two-pole bar magnet generator can produce 276 volt AC as per video. By changing the generator stator coil turns from N equal to 1000 turns to 1043 turns by proportion. 1000 times 288 divided by 276 equal to 1043. Run off to 1050 turns. Winding 50 turns more, it shall make the generator to produce 288 volt. Also, step up transformer 120 VA divided by 14,400 volt equal to 0.00833 ampere equal to 8.333 milli ampere. By connecting same 288 volt to step up transformer, 14,400 volt AC, 3.333 milli ampere current. It shall make it compatible with the DC's power supply required by the drum motor, hence a self-loop system. A self-loop system. By hyper-driving the drum motor to 14,400 volt DC, it shall spin rotation 
at 3,600 RPM. It shall drive the built-in Gerard Morin generator output at 288 volt AC. After rewinding stator coils to N equal to 1050 turns. With this 288 volt AC generator output fits to step up transformer to obtain 14,400 volt AC. This 14,400 volt AC fits to 32 1N 4007 dials. Rectifier bridge to make a full wave rectifier 14,400 volt DC. To charge up the four capacitors bank to supply DC power to the drum motor hyperdrive controller circuit to spin the drum motor. This gives a self-loop system. The generator is rated at 288 volt AC, 0.3 ampere per AWG28 winding. The step-up transformer rated 120 VA, that is 120 divided by 288 equal to 0.4167 ampere, acceptable to generator 0.3 ampere. Apply. As I looked into the logic gates integrated circuits, data sheets, I found nowadays are using complementary metal oxide semiconductors, CMOS technology, requiring power supply VCC equal to 3.6 volt. Other ICs LM555 VCC equal to 5 volt. This means I can use a mobile phone power bank at 5 volt DC, rechargeable by USB, up to 50,000 milliampere hour. Also, I previously presented a power bank installed with heat oxidized copper wires as electrodes with the cash technology plasma copper oxide GANs, gas in nano state, brushed onto aluminum foils, wrapping in baking paper to make a plasma capacitor side by side, parallel connected with the power bank output, giving 0 0.7 volt DC extra to extend the power bank life modify the USB cable to loop back for self-recharging as its power depletes. From 5 volt DC, I can use a voltage regulator LM3940 to bring it down to 3.6 volt for the electronics in the hyperdrive controller circuit boards. Source YouTube, my personal spaceship, field plasma space travel by Man Tim Lee. Self loop system, hyperdrive controller spins drum motor to 3600 RPM. Built in generator produces 288 volt AC. Step up transformer to 14400 volt AC rectified to DC, then charge up the capacitor bank to supply 14,400 volt DC back to the inverter circuit. Gerard Morin over unity circuit. From energy storage, E equal to half CV square. It indicated that the capacitor banks is a voltage device 
it takes instantaneous current to operate to charging it because DC current cannot flow through capacitors. The current being used by the IGBTs VCC minus VEE to excite the drum motor stator coils are obtained by discharging from the capacitor's bank. This means the step-up transformer output 14,400 volt AC while charging the capacitor's bank can be simultaneously tapped to feed a pole transformer. The 120VA step-up transformer and a 15KVA pole transformer then forms a gerard Morin over-unity circuit. gerard Morin over-unity circuit. From the built-in generator, it can supply 288 volt AC, 60 Hz, 0.3 ampere, equal to 288 times 0.3, equal to 86.4 VA, after change to 1050 turns. Step up transformer specifications 120 volt, 1 ampere input equal to 120 VA. 6,000 volt times 20 milliampere output equal to 120 VA. Transformers internal resistances are X1 equal to 120 volt divided by 1 ampere equal to 120 ohm. X1 equal to 6,000 volt divided by 0 0.02 ampere equal to 300,000 ohm, 300k ohm. The 15 kVA pole transformer, 14,400 volt, 1.0417 ampere equal to 15 kVA. X3 equal to 14,400 volt divided by 1.0417 ampere equal to 13,824 ohm. 120 volt and 125 ampere output equal to 15 kVA. X4 equal to 120 volt divided by 125 ampere equal to 0 0.96 ohm. When 86.4 VA is input to step up transformer, I1 equal to 86.4 VA divided by 14,400 volt equal to 0 0.006 ampere or 6 milliamp. X1 parallel to X3 equal to X1 times X3 divided by X1 plus X3 equal to 300,000 times 13,824 divided by 300,000 plus 13,824 equal to 300,000 times 13,824 divided by 313,824 equal to 13,215 ohm. X1 parallel X3 equal to 13,215 ohms. Consumption in the cascade circuit X1 parallel X3 equal to I1 square times X1 parallel X3 
equal to 0 0.006 square times 13,215 equal to 0 0.4757 VA. Note, VA and Watt are the same unit. Kilogram meter per second square times meter per second. Consumption in the input X2 equal to I in square times X2 equal to 0 0.3 square times 120 equal to 10.8 VA. Total consumption in X1 plus X1 parallel 3 equal to 10.8 plus 0 0.4757 equal to 11.2757 VA. This is the leakage current in X4 to produce 120 volt when v RL is off. IX4 equal to 11.2757 2757 divided by 120 equal to 0 0.09396 ampere to support 120 volt at open circuit RL equal to off. Calculate IRL when the low RL is on total current I out equal to IX4 plus IRL equal to 0 0.09397 plus IRL. The VA required to support this load RL equal to 0 0.09397 plus IRL times 120 VA equal to 11.2764 plus 120 IRL VA. Total current I1 required in X1 parallel X3 to support the low. I1 equal to 11.2764 plus 120 times IRL divided by 14,400 equal to 0.000-7831 plus 0.008333 IRL ampere. The power consumption in X1 parallel X3 equal to I1 square times x1 parallel x3 p x1 parallel x3 equal to 0 0.007831 plus 0 0.008333 irl square times 13215 va this power consumption in X1 parallel X3 shall demand current in X2. IX2 equal to PX1 parallel X3 divided by 120 equal to 0 0.000-7831 plus 0 0.008 triple three IRL square times 13,215 divided by 120 equal to 0 0.0007831 plus 0 0.0083 IRL square times 110 Point one two five ampere PX two equal to zero point zero 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 
0.7831 plus 0.008333 IRL square times 1110.125 square times 0.96 equal to 0.000 7831 plus 0 0.008333 IRL to the power 4 times 11,642.415. Set total power consumption equal to power x2 plus power x1 parallel x3 equal to 86.4 VA. The built-in generator 288 volt times 0 0.3 ampere equal to 86.4 VA. Therefore, resolving into quadratic equation, I have set x equal to 0 0.000 7831 plus 0.008333 IRL square C equal to -86.4 then the quadratic equation becomes 11442.4152 x square plus 110.125x minus 86.4 equal to 0. Solving this quadratic equation, I have repeat 11642.415x squared plus 110 point one two five x minus eighty six point four equal to zero x equal to minus a hundred and ten point one two five plus minus the square root of one hundred and ten point one two five square minus four times 11,642.415 times minus 86.4 divided by 2 times 11,642.415 equal to minus 10, 110.125 plus minus square root of 12,127.5156 plus 40,236.18.124 divided by 32, uh, 23,284.83 equal to minus 110.125 plus minus square root of 40,357.45.6396 divided by 23,284.83. Equal to minus 1110.125 plus minus 2008.8165 divided by 23,284.83. Equal to minus 0 0.04729 plus minus 0 0.08628 x equal to 0 
8.1551 or x equal to minus 0 0.09101. Substitute back into x equal to x 0 0.00073 7831 plus 0 0.008333 IRL square. Then 0 0.000783 plus 0 0.00833 IRL equal to square root of x equal to square root of 0 0.081551 equal to 0 0.28557 IRL equal to 2 point, uh, 0 0.28557 minus 0 0.000783 divided by 0 0.008333 equal to 0 0.284787 divided by 0 0.008333 equal to 34.1758 ampere 120 times 34.1758 ampere equal to 4.1 kilowatt current amplification equal to 34.1758 divided by 0 0.3 equal to 113.9193 note i'm not taking x equal to minus 0 0.09101 because square root of a minus value give me imaginary IRL. Quadratic equation x equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Source YouTube solving quadratic equation using quadratic formula by math meeting conclusion in this presentation i completed my feasibility studies on the gerard maureen hyperdrive controller circuit design to add on to the knowledge and extended my understanding on how to design a hyperdrive controller circuit to spin the drum motor at 14,400 volt DC, 3,600 RPM, 0 0.05382 ampere, 198 watt. To hyperdrive the drum motor to 14,400 volt has the advantage that it takes a little power, 198 watt to spin it. And 14,400 volt is the familiar high voltage compatible with the pole transformer. A self loop may be implemented as a 288 volt AC output may be tapped from the built-in generator. After rewinding the generator stator coil to 1050 turns, then feed to a 120 to 6000 volt AC step-up transformer. Hyperdrive it to 14,400 volt AC. Rectify to charge up the four capacitors bank, each one microfarad, 4,000 volt DC. It shall make a 14,400 volt DC, 414.72 watt power supply. 
to withstand the high voltage up to 16,000 volt DC. Charging for 0.4776 seconds, so expect to cover one second of rotation of the drum motor. Continue charging as power being used for spinning the motor. A jump start one time charging is necessary for the four capacitors bank. The step up transformer as demonstrated by Gerard Maureen is a 120VA transformer. It can take up to one ampere current in primary winding. So at 288VC AC, it can take 120VA divided by 288 volt equal to 0 0.4167 ampere. The generator with 28 AWG rated at 0 0.3 ampere shall be okay, not overdriven. With that little 0 0.3 ampere current from the built-in generator, the 14,400 volt AC from the step-up transformer, it may be fed to a 15 kVA pole transformer. The step-up transformer and the 15 kVA pole transformer shall become an over-unity circuit. Current amplification equal to 113.9193 and 34.1758 ampere be obtained from the outlet. This subject drum motors controller circuit design feasibility is a direct online DOL motor starting. There is no speed control as it shall be driven to 3600 RPM to drive rotation for the built-in generator to produce 288 volt AC, 60 Hz to the outlet. As in all design, it has to be tested, validated in manufacturing. Complete system, complete self-loop over unity system shall be like this. Caution. High voltage, 14,400 volt is known to produce electric sparks, touching metal surfaces and earthing to earth ground. Caution must be taken, do not touch any of the wiring in the circuit. Capacitors bank can be charged in previous power on with residual electricity. Check all wiring terminations screw tightens, wires securely fastened, solder onto circuit boards, into water drip proof box closure prior to power on. To prevent electric arcing, prevent current leakage. The, term, the circuit boards must be have label high voltage 14,000 volt DC to alert end users. Insulation sites to be on plinth high position. 20,000 volt insulation mat locked in rooms. High voltage 14,400 volt sign. Testing, servicing, repair, maintenance to be done by experienced, qualified personnel. Keep out of children, keep out of aerosol, flammable items away from test site, test benches. Take same precaution as we would for any electrical appliances. Thank you for watching. This completes my presentation. I wish this presentation to be useful to the knowledge seekers, electrical engineers, students, researchers, 
for continued research for practical use of the circuit. Thank you, Gerard Morin, for the knowledge on drum motor hyperdrive, ion free high voltage generator, RF transformer. Thank you, Ludic Science, for the knowledge on high voltage trials. Thank you, AK Lectures. Thank you, Abolitos. Thank you, Jeannie McCain. Thank you, Mr. Cash. Thank you, ST Microelectronics, Fairchild Semiconductors, National Semiconductors, Toshiba Corporation, Chicago Condenser Corporation, On Semiconductor, www.alldatasheet.com, www.capacitorindustries.com, Musa Electronics, Capacitors Industries. Thank you, Math Meeting. Thank you, Engineer Top Tutor. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, Knowledge Seekers. Thank you, my wife Doris. Have a good day. Peace to the world.